Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to uh, reflect a graph about x-axis and y-axis, like that type of thing, uh, from the equation though, okay? So, let's graph two equations, y equals to square root of x plus 3, and in the second equation, the whole right-hand side is multiplied by negative sign, meaning the y values are multiplied by the negative y. So, obviously, you may, uh, you can guess where it will be reflected, okay? Do you remember that symmetric about x-axis when y is replaced by negative y? So, it should be reflection about the x-axis. Let's see the graph first, okay? So, let me first plug in uh, the x values and get the y values for the first equation. When you plug in 0, is the graph of y equals to square root of x plus 3. Now, I want to find the graph of y equals to negative square root of x plus 3 so it is 0 negative 3 did you see that and then 1 negative 4 and then 4 negative 5 so the graph will look like this in this case see whenever you multiply the whole right hand side everything on the right hand side by a negative sign you will see the graph will be the original graph y equals to square root of x plus 3 is reflected about x-axis okay and uh, next let's see so here all the uh, right hand side is multiplied by negative sign but here I want to multiply only x for the negative sign okay so all the x will be uh, replaced by negative x and you can guess it will be reflection about y-axis right for the other equation let's see here you are replacing x by negative x now you cannot plug in x equals to 1 because if you plug in x equals to 1 you will see uh, square root of negative 1 that is i and then that will be uh, that will be a problem okay so you don't want to plug in positive values here because you will get negative number under the root let's plug in negative values but the same uh, same numbers with negative sign okay so when I plug in 0 I will get 3 so that one of the point will be the, that point itself if I plug in negative 1 you, I'll get 4 so it will be the second point and if, you, if I plug in negative 4 I will get 5 so it will be basically here right and then if you look at the graph it is basically reflection about the y-axis okay this is the deal if you want to reflect about x-axis you multiply everything on the right hand side by negative sign or negative 1 okay and if you want to reflect about y-axis though what you have to do is you multiply x by negative 1 or you replace x by negative x for all the axes so let me take one example where the given function is 3 over x minus 2x squared plus square root of x first of all can you tell me what is the domain of this function because x cannot be 0 right otherwise this will be infinity also x cannot be negative number okay so the domain will be all x that is greater than zero okay that's why i gave for all x greater than zero and you want to write the final equation after the following transformation so i am giving you five different transformation and you want to get the final equation but to get the final equation you need to apply each of those transformation and then write the equation for each of them and then get the final form okay so first of all you want to reflect uh, about y-axis so if you want to reflect an equation about y-axis what should you do you should replace x by negative x okay let's do that so you will get f of x it is only on the right hand side though so f of x equals to 3 over negative x that will be negative 3 over x minus 2 times negative x squared that will be just 2x squared right and then plus square root of uh, negative x all right so next what you want to do is you want to shift up by two units when you want to shift up or down you will add that number to the right hand side okay not to the x but to the all of the right hand side so this will be f of x will be negative 3 over x minus 2 x squared right because negative x squared is x is uh, just x squared plus square root of negative x and then plus 2 okay Next is horizontal stretch by scale 0.3. So to find out the horizontal stretch, what we do is you multiply the x. For the horizontal, you always do for x, okay? Uh, you multiply x by that number, okay? So what would you do here is f of x will be negative 3 over 0.3x and then minus 2 times 0.3x squared and then plus square root of negative 0.3x and then plus 2 okay 
this is a, this is what you get plus two and uh, uh, so uh, for the reflect about x axis what do you do to reflect about x axis you multiply the whole right hand side by negative sign or negative one right so what you get is f of x equals to so what is uh, 3 over uh, point 0.3 so it will be 30 right if you use calculator you'll get 30 but you multiply whole right hand side by negative sign means you will get 30 over x correct and then plus because all these sign will be changed because you multiply by negative sign and then how much is 0 0.3 x squared 0 0.3 squared is 0 0.09 right and then times 2 is 0 0.18 so uh, 0 0.18 x squared so you can use calculator to get that number and then uh, minus because you are multiplying the whole right hand side by the negative sign right and this plus will be changed to minus and then uh, negative 0 0.3 x and then pl uh, this will be again minus and then 2 okay and finally shift right by three units if you want to shift right you subtract that number from x okay so if you want to do left or right that is the horizontal uh, movement horizontal shifting you always work with x if you want to do the vertical though you always work with the whole right hand side okay let's do that so f of x equals to 30 over you are subtracting this number because you are moving to the right from x so it will be x minus 3 and then plus 0 0.18 x minus 3 squared minus uh, negative 3 because you are subtracting 3 you can subtract at the end so negative 0 0.3 x minus 3 it is inside the root because x is inside the root right so what you do is you need a parenthesis there though because you are replacing x by x minus 3 there okay and then minus so this is the final answer so this is how we work if there are uh, more than one transformation given to a given equation and then you apply each of those transformation in the given order though so if you do this first and do this second do this third like that in different order you will get different equation okay so you should follow the order it is given thank you guys